M. I'm going to make this motion to approve this one for, for you, Jim. M. All right. Consideration of it. Don't give me make that one M. Yeah. 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 And we can vote against. That's fine. <laughs> but I'm making a motion to approve. I don't think you can. I know. <laughs> I'm just beat him to it. There is a letter in your packet which you probably have already read. Um, so if nobody makes a motion, we can't do it. Right. <laughs> I'm going to be moving anyway. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've heard of forced retirement, not forced death. Yeah. Well, are there, is there any discussion? If not, I would entertain a motion in a second to accept Brian's resignation. The only discussion I have is, you know, me being the newest member here, I would like to be one that does publicly say appreciate all the work that Brian did on this council. I thank him for his years of service. And, you know, I'm still debating whether to approve it. I appreciate most of it. So <laughs> move the accepted resignation. Is there a second? I'll second it. And call, thank you. And call for a vote. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman guys. Brumford? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Muska? Yes. Green? Yes. Frederick? Yes. Muska? In your packet, and is consideration of methods to find a city council vacancy, and in your packet, there's a lengthy discussion on that. Uh, there are certain regulations for replacing Brian, and Adam is going to speak to that. Sure. Um, the, the rule allows for two different forms of, of replacing a vacant council position. The uh, first one is uh, by appointment. And the appointment uh, would stand until the uh, next the regular scheduled election for that particular position, which would be November of 2011. The second option to the council is to have a special election to uh, fill the vacancy. Uh, we don't currently have um, a city um, a city office up for election during this current annual cycle. Um, the council in the past, just to give you some history, and this is not included in your packet, this is just some research I've done since the packets were put together, uh, the last time the council dealt with this issue was back in 2000. Um, there was a newly elected council member, Mr. Hall, um, who moved out of the city. Um, and at that time, the council appointed an individual to fill the, uh, for the better sense of the term, basically the full term of that, uh, that, that council position. I'm asking the council tonight to discuss and consider and if they would like make a uh, um, give me some direction on how they would like to move forward with filling our vacancy as of tomorrow. I've got a question. Since uh, there is election coming up this November, we could use that as a uh, technically election? technically not. I think due to the to the time refrain and you have a copy in here. We have roughly thirty two days to contact the auditor's office that we have an open position uh, that we would like to be included. And I believe then there's, uh, and I'd have to read through it again, I believe there is then a 90-day window uh, to when the election actually has to occur. And there is a cost, excuse me. Oh, yes, uh, of course. Cost of the election. Two, two grand, Sandy, does that sound about right? If you add that, you went through the, oh, if you had a special on our own. Curtis, you had your hand up. If you decide on the appointment <clears throat> method, is that by a majority vote or a unanimous vote? Uh, it is only required to be through a majority vote. Can it, <clears throat> can you specify, can you, decide for yourselves that it would be by a unanimous vote? If the motion is made, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not, they're not required through any ordinance or through No, I understand law they're not required. That, but, I mean, we don't do it tonight, do we? 
Madam, are you wishing to have a recommendation at this meeting? I, I, are you looking for simply, direction? That's all I'm asking. Is I'm simply asking what, which method we want to move forward with. Do you have any ideas? Do you have any questions? Um, as far as... I'd like to think about a couple of weeks. That's how. But when I was on the uh, school board, we had the unfortunate happening of a school board pass away. And I filled in for the remainder of the term to say, because it was going to cost the county, the city, or the school about 5000 bucks to have that special election. But the condition was I wasn't going to run at the time, you know, just to fill it in to save the city the money. Mm -hmm. But, uh, so, you know, it was just... It was just a money, kind of a money issue, and at the time we didn't have any, you know, kind of hot buttons going on. But uh, my personal opinion, appoint somebody everybody can agree on, and let it go with that. You're asking tonight just which method, not which, which method. appointment. Okay. Because I can start the process. I mean, there's certain things <laughs> we have to do. Uh, if you can give me a direction on what method you're you're leaning towards. I would. I would my, that's my my personal opinion. Is, is that a motion? I'll make the motion. I'll second. There's been a motion made and a second to move forward with the appointment process to fill the vacancy when Brian leaves the council. Is there any? Are there any questions or is there any discussion about it? And if they don't want to be appointed, could we still appoint them? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. well, well, we're going to take the oath. All this does is set the process. Yeah, we haven't decided this, this the process. process. Yeah. Yeah. It allows me to the take process. the next step in the process. Yes. I think yeah. There is a motion. Curtis? When he says, uh, when you say uh, an appointment that everybody can agree on, are you implying um, a unanimous vote? No. No. Majority vote. Do we need to restate that? No. Okay. No. Okay. okay. The motion is on the floor. Are there any other questions or comments? Are you ready to vote? If so, I call for a vote. Councilman Johnston? Yes. Muska? Abstain. Rennie? Yes. Frederick? Yes. Crowhart? Yes. Thank you.